Welcome back. Augustana football is now in their second week of spring practice, and so far, Coach OJ is liking what he sees. Earlier this week, Elena Lanson stopped by campus to catch up with Coach and veteran Kirby Ora on how the practices have been going. Take a look. Uh, it's been great. You know, through our first four, uh, the install is pretty tight with what we have to get accomplished. Uh, and then it's just stacking information on top of. Every day there's a different install. And uh, because we have so many new faces, I mean, literally eight new starters defensively uh, at some point, we rely heavily on our veterans to also uh, move the message forward and, and let us know how fast can we go. And at this point, we're all things forward on both sides of the ball. Uh, we went live last couple practices, and I really like what I see. Obviously, there's things to clean up, but uh, at this point right now, uh, I'm very pleased. Coach OJ has been very impressed with the level of communication from the team, and redshirt senior Kirby Hora agrees. The communication aspect of not only our terminology, but how guys are being able to mesh with all the field as well has just really kind of expanded and like really grown this offseason. That's carried into spring ball here. Being only practice four, the communication we've had with being in sync and knowing where guys are going to drop or who's going to run sport, what route. Um, it's been really encouraging because if you want to compete in NSIC, you have to have communication because games get pretty loud and um, gets hectic with up-tempo offenses and stuff. So um, the communication aspect has um, allowed us to develop as a team. Even though South Dakota is seeing colder temps and snow, the team is embracing it and applying it to when they play late in the season. The guys have been awesome. You know, we practiced in four degrees, six degrees already. But that's playoff weather. You know, if you want to be playing uh, in the Midwest and playing game 12, game 13, 14, it's not going to be 85 and sunny. So um, our, our guys have that mindset and, and really just taking the excuses out of it and execute. I think guys are embracing it head on. Um, they understand that you're in South Dakota. I mean, so we have guys from Texas and Florida, and they're like, what's all this white stuff? It's snow. Um, welcome to it. But uh, they, they've really embraced it, and they know that this is the culture that we're going to have here, and if we want to get to where we want to be, um, we need to be ready to play in this because that's what we want. Looking forward to the rest of spring training, Coach and Kirby know exactly what they want to see be continued. Every day you got to be one and zero, um, and it goes from game 11 last year, how we're going to build on that from practice one. Um, we looked really good, I felt, as a team. Um, and we just keep building on it every single day because you can never take a step back. You take a step back, um, you're going to lose. Um, so if we can just keep building every single day, um, even if it's a little thing, it's one little read step every day. You get better as an individual. Once you get better as an individual, your position's going to get better, and the team's going to get better, and that's how we're going to compete. Efficiency, uh, high levels of communication. Uh, I want to see speed. I want to see us closing to the ball defensively, playing fast. Uh, we'll, we'll recover from the mistakes we make, uh, but I want to see our fits fast. I want to see us making plays on the ball and finishing on that. Offensively, I want to continue a high level of operation. Uh, I see that going very well right now. I think our quarterbacks are doing a good job getting people in place uh, at the right place and the right time. Um, but as always, I mean, in, in this level of practice, at practice forward spring, we got to work on pad level. we got to work on moving our feet. we got to work on hand placement, just the little things that make a big difference. And we're not, uh, we're not at the point where we're going to oversee any of that stuff. That's all important. Um, so we're going to focus on it every day and hopefully stack a good practice on top of a good practice. And at the end of 15, be better than game 11. Great work. Thank you, Elena. And hopefully they'll see some warmer days before spring football wraps up with their spring scrimmage on Saturday, April 28th. Looking forward to it. Next on the show, we'll send it down to Vermillion and check in on USD spring football, specifically the Coyote Wideouts. That's coming up when Midco Sports Tonight returns. Midco Sports Tonight, presented by Avera Orthopedics.